Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Asus VivoBook Q200E, so stay tuned. This was a very early birthday present. I really needed one of these because my normal notebook is huge and I use this one more for work than anything else and here it is you can see it just about takes up the entire frame it's huge it's a 17 inch uh, notebook and it's uh, I'm gonna put this aside somewhere I need a really large space to sit that guy down but um this is just so small it's light and it's great to um, bring with you on trips and to sit out back as long as you're not in direct sunlight and that's one of the issues we'll talk about here shortly but just a awesome <laughs> little notebook and usually these ultra books run uh, like eight hundred dollars and above but it seems like asus has made some compromises and got the price down um, through those compromises to the unbelievable low price range of about four to five hundred dollars so I was just I just had a um, Hope someone gave me that for my birthday and they did so here it is now. This is a Windows 8 It's not Windows 8 Pro. It's Windows 8 and let's go ahead and just take a tour Here's the top and it's all this brushed aluminum. You can see I got some fingerprints here um, And let's go around the back really nothing there on the back and here we have uh, starting here is the Ken Kennington lock whatever little lock there then you got a USB port oh, by the way that's the lock USB port USB it's USB 2 we have a USB 3 here you could tell by that blue guy right there and then we have an HDMI and then we have a Ethernet port but this only goes to um, 10 one and 100 it's not gigabit and then that's where you plug in the power right there on the other side we have a SD slot which can take uh, let me see I have written down here various cards not just SD it takes a SD SDHC SD XC and M MC they're all the same format type of card and then we have a um, headphone uh, slash mic jack and then we have another USB 2 and then a VGA port really really nice so let's go ahead and open this up and this is the next little wow factor here we have a aluminum all aluminum chassis I absolutely love this you have a multi-touch trackpad right there and then you, you know, do gestures and things like that you have a nice keyboard where the keys bottom out really nice and hard I hate squishy mushy keys there's not much travel with these so I don't know if touch typers could have a problem the other big issue is this is not a 100% size keyboard it's a 93% keyboard so some folks might have a little bit of issue with that before we go any further I'd like to just show you the power supply it's tiny but they do give you a very very long cord <laughs> it's crazy long and uh i mean the, the power supply is like something that you would find for a, a tablet or even a cell phone it's amazing but the reason why it doesn't have such a big power supply is because the um batteries in this thing it's only a two cell battery it's like 500 or 5100 uh, milliamp maybe a, a tiny bit more my notes say um, and of course I can't find it 5138 milliamp hour so you know it's like double the size of a cell phone battery but the way that it sort of gets its life its stamina is that it has um, a very uh, efficient processor and the processor I'll, I'll go ahead and go through some specs right now before we go any further it's a Intel third generation um, core i3 32 17u processor operating about 1.8 gigahertz now there are some older ones left over may you know that you might come across with the second generation so make sure you check on the box to make sure you see that 32 17 and not a not a um, 2000 series 
This does have DDR3, uh, 1333 MHz SD RAM. Unfortunately, it's soldered on the motherboard. That's one of the downsides. So you cannot upgrade the RAM. The graphics is brought to you by Intel HD Graphics 4000. It does have a 5400 RPM 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's not a solid state drive. It can be removed. And it, it's one of those really small 7.5 millimeter or um, two two and a half inch guys to take that out by the way the, the bottom is like a rubbery kind of thing it's the only part that's sort of plastic and um, there's the the vents but you have one two if you count all these screws like nine screws you got to take out and then you have to pry this off there's like little plastic uh, hooks or whatever inside and you got to sort of pop them all to get in there but once you get in there you can go ahead and change the hard drive and there's something else you could change here and I'll talk about that in a second um, the screen, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and log on. I just sort of had it sleeping, so uh, I'll, I'll stop here so you can just look at the screen. The screen is a 11.6-inch uh, screen, so it's very small, it's shiny, it's glary. The reason for that is it's a touch screen, see? So you don't want a, a matte kind of finish because then you're... you're the smudges will be really bad and hard to get off if it were like that. The um, it also has a touchpad down here and it's a multi-touch, so you could do this squishy, you know, and pinch and turn and rotate and left and right. Now, one thing that I came across when I first got this is when I did a double tap, which should mean a right click if you were using a regular mouse, it wouldn't do it all the time. So I had went online and read a little bit about it, found out that if you download the latest smart gesture or something gesture software so you have to uninstall the old drivers install the new drivers for this um, trackpad or multi touchpad or whatever you want to call it it'll fix the problem in most cases and it did so that's great now this has a 93% uh, keyboard and um, it could be a little difficult to type on it if you're a touch typist but I think I already touched on that so I'll just keep on moving along it does have a camera right there on top it's HD I think it's 720p if I'm not mistaken it's not that great in low light it sort of gets a little bit grainy so um, you, you gotta have it well lit and you know it'll just get too noisy in the dark it does this laptop does have um, 8, 802 11 uh, B, G, and N. It does not have Bluetooth. So there is the slightly better version, which is the X202. If you go ahead and grab that one, it does come with Bluetooth, and you could find it for the same price if you're lucky. What I happen to have here is one of those little Bluetooth dongles. So I'll just stick it in one of the USB things if I need. Then you can buy those for 20 bucks. So if you need to have Bluetooth on it and you have this one, you can take care of it quickly and easily or when you have this open you can replace the card that does all the radio stuff and put one in that does Bluetooth also you could read about that online um, like I said uh, I already went over the card reader HDMI port has VGA has USB ports it has a USB 3 port um, has the two cell battery now that two cell battery provides the unbelievable stamina <laughs> and length of uh, operating time of about personally experiencing three and a half hours not that great and I and I'm, I'm talking about just cruising the web a little bit letting it sit a little bit and doing some trillion chat kind of thing so not too impressive now this thing only weighs about three pounds it's like 0.9 inches you know thick it's very thin it's uh 11.9 inches wide and it's about 7.9 inches deep. 11.9, 7.9. So it's very, very small, easy to carry around. And again, I said it's between four and five hundred dollars. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like four hundred, five hundred dollars less than most ultra books. So I'm gonna go ahead and log on this thing just so you could see the screen. Now I don't want you watching me log on and seeing my password so I'll go ahead and get logged in here and you can see that pretty 
Metro <laughs> thing. I absolutely despise the Metro interface. I went ahead and installed Classic Shell. So when this boots up on my normal account, I sort of doctored this back to normal for the um, for this video. But it goes right to the desktop. And there's my desktop. But again, this is all touchscreen. Um, let me see. i got to hit Shift. <laughs> the key for windows to get it back but really really nice touch screen you could also use the trackpad like I said to move around and see I could I think you could gesture smaller like that make it bigger again really cool uh, by the way the uh, where it blows out hot air a lot of these laptops you know got to blow air out somewhere in most cases the vent is on the bottom so don't sit it on like your cover blanket on the whatever because it can block the the air coming out even though it is not hot at all this thing operates so cool it is a uh, very frugal very frugal with power since it only has that two the two cell uh, lithium batteries inside that you know you recharge that thing is just uh it, it really is maximizing what little power this thing has so i'm, I'm very impressed so, um, I think I really covered this all. The only other thing I'd like to go over are some pros and cons in my opinion. You know, pros is, is of course, the size of this thing is just absolutely um, crazy how small this is. And, and, you know, you might have to get used to those keys just a little bit. But just super duper duper small right there. The uh, price is another uh, huge selling point for this, for between four and five hundred dollars, and there are rebates out there, and I'm sure you're going to be able to find it even a little bit cheaper here in the next couple of weeks. It seems like the, you know the prices are really dropping really fast out here. You you can definitely grab these up for something with the, the aluminum case and the size and the weight and Windows 8 with the i3 processor. It's just really amazing what you're getting for the money it makes this a steal really even with all the compromises made by asus um the touch screen you by the way this thing has great sound i can't really demonstrate that since you know youtube is going to just turn this out into crap but it really does have great great sound for such a small little unit and uh the charger is, is just tiny and they give you a very long cord and um, it runs very cool. So th those are all the pros. Now, the biggest cons for me is the short battery life. For, uh, me, personally, experiencing about three and a half hours. There is no Bluetooth. If you can find that X202 model, then go ahead and, and get that one if you can. I compromised and, and stuck my $20 Bluetooth dongle in there. The Bluetooth that comes with this is Bluetooth 4. Um, the dongles are usually Bluetooth too, but for you know doing a mouse or whatever, it they're fine. The um, soldered RAM you cannot upgrade the RAM. Huge issue. You can't upgrade any further. It really sucks. That's the one. That's probably the worst con of, of them all, and it really it knocks off a point by itself. And the other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is no recovery CDs. This thing does not have a you know. First of all, it doesn't have a DVD on it, so you have to plug an external DVD, which it doesn't come with. So you got to buy one if you want to read CDs, DVDs. And then there's no application on here to do it. Now, luckily, I have a copy of Acronis, so I could go ahead and do a disk image. But there is no recovery software. What it does have is on the hard drive, it has a recovery partition. So you gotta hurt, you got to hit certain keys when it's booting up, and you get into the recovery mode, and you can restore it like it came from the factory. So I really think I've really covered all of this. It's uh, it's not a super fast machine, you know. It's an i3, but for what it is, and for the price, and what you're getting, it, it's uh, it holds its own. You know, it's good for word processing and cruising the web and doing chatting. It does videos fine. It does Netflix fine. But you're not going to be playing some high processor game on this thing. It just it's not made for that. You're not going to do some heavy photo editing with it either. So, I think it's a steal. You know, I just noticed looking at the uh, picture on my webcam that this thing has quite a bit of flicker. In real life, you don't see a flicker. It's probably because the frequency of the webcam, the, the way it's videotaping, is 
close to the frequency of the refresh rate of the screen. Now, the one thing I for almost forgot to point out is that the screen's not terribly bright, so if you're outside, especially if you're trying to keep the um, backlight really low to conserve power, you're not going to do very good in, in, in direct sunlight, so you got to really be in the shade to see the screen. It's not good in... Um, in bright light. I'm going to get my phone to stop making that noise or it's going to drive everybody crazy. There we go. Okay, so what do I rate this? I rate it a 8 out of 10, even though it has a lot of cons. Come on, phone. Um, it, it gets 8 out of 10. And it has an awful lot of cons, but you got to keep in mind that the price range for a form factor uh, of an ultra book, uh, the price is really almost unbelievably insane so it gets an 8 out of 10 because of that and I don't see any major flaws the only um, flaw that I encountered was not being able to do the right click with the two fingers and that was fixable by downloading the latest drivers okay well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel I really appreciate every Fred viewer subscriber and you and I hope you have a great great evening and weekend. Take care. Bye.